Suppose are there more snakes in Alabama these days? One local snake hunter says, yep. And he's fighting back with his patent pending snake trap. Fox 6 News reporter Chris Montana goes on the hunt. The problem is the trap does all the work, but that's life with the new Kaba snake trap. Like most puppies, Mello and Duff stick their noses where they don't belong. They were laying right here and they were all swollen up and drooling. But they were missing. So he went looking for them and found them both unconscious out around the back of our yard with heads swollen like basketballs. They'd been bit by copperheads. This was serious and Teresa Callahan wasted no time. And then we found the snake bounty hunter. Yeah, let's pull this off. Armed with his latest invention, Buddy Hawkins goes straight to work. You know, we did a thorough inspection and, and uh, you know, we, I dug around, dug around, and then uh, finally we found that, that pipe there, and evidently those snakes were up in that pipe. That's when Buddy set his Cahaba snake trap. The snakes, have, they, they have no way they, of backing out of something. When they go into it, they have to turn around. Once that snake touches the sticky insert, and the more they squirm, the more they're going to get caught in there. And it's curtains for the snake. The snakes only have two trains of thought, eat and, and hide. And, and our trap, what it does, it just resembles a place to hide. Snakes check in, but they don't so check like out. Now, this snake was actually trying to get in a uh, dryer vent at the lady's house. How would you like to find this in your laundry? Oh, that's yeah, real. Yeah. You, you want to hold it? I don't, thank you. Not that you would want to, but with the proper supervision, you can actually humanely release a snake or whatever you catch with vegetable oil. Seriously. Now, we got to keep in, keep in perspective, though. Snakes are not totally bad for the environment. <laughs> so long as they leave Mellow and Duff alone. In Mountain Brook, Chris Montana, Fox 6 News.